Oh my god. Oh my god. Look. Look. Hey, just, do you see that? Do you see that? What if I told you there's a tree that can actually walk? No, it's not from a science fiction movie, and it's not a fantasy. It's real, and it's one of nature's most fascinating secrets. Meet Socratea exoriza, better known as the walking tree. In this video, we're going to uncover the secrets behind this incredible tree. How does it walk? Why is it so important to the rainforest? And why is it now at risk? Stick with me until the end, and you'll see how the walking tree isn't just a marvel of nature, it's also a key to understanding the health of our planet's rainforest. First, let's get to know the walking tree a little better. Socratea exoriza, also known as the walking tree, belongs to the Aracassi family, which is the same family as palm trees. This tree can grow up to 25 meters tall. That's over 80 feet. But what makes it stand out isn't just its height. It's the incredible feature of its roots. The walking tree's roots are called stilt roots. These are roots that grow out of the tree's trunk and can extend several meters above the ground. Unlike regular tree roots, which stay in the soil, these stilt roots allow the tree to anchor itself above the ground, even in unstable or waterlogged soil. This gives the tree stability in areas where other trees might struggle to survive. Let's break it down. The walking tree doesn't have legs or any traditional means of locomotion. Instead, its walking is the result of a continuous cycle of root growth and decay. It's a process that unfolds over years, even decades. The first step is the growth of new roots. As the walking tree matures, it starts to send out new roots from its trunk. These new roots grow in the direction of more stable soil, or more importantly, toward areas that get better sunlight. Why sunlight? Because in the dense rainforest, light is one of the most valuable resources. So the tree's survival depends on its ability to reach towards sunlight for optimal photosynthesis. As the new roots grow, they extend several meters from the trunk, rising above the ground. This is the first stage of walking. The tree is slowly shifting its position toward more favorable conditions. Oh my God. These new roots don't just support the tree's growth. They also anchor it more securely in the ground allowing it to maintain its stability even in waterlogged or unstable soil. Now here's where the walking process gets even more interesting. While new roots are pushing outward and reaching for sunlight, the older roots begin to decay. As the tree grows taller and stronger, these older roots, which were once essential for supporting the tree, no longer have a purpose. Over time, they break down and decay, effectively letting go of their hold on the soil. This process of decaying roots is what allows the tree to shift its position over time. As the new roots take over and the old ones decay, the tree's position in the forest changes, albeit very slowly. So while it might seem like the tree is walking, it's actually a long-term, gradual movement driven by a combination of root growth and decay. Think of it like a slow motion shift toward better survival conditions. But why does the walking tree need to move at all? Why not just stay in one spot? The answer lies in the tree's environment, the dense, competitive rainforest. In a rainforest, light is often in short supply because the thick canopy overhead blocks sunlight from reaching the forest floor. Trees like Socratea exoriza need as much light as they can get to fuel their growth. So by walking toward better sunlight, the tree increases its chances of thriving in a competitive environment. In essence, the walking mechanism is a strategy for survival in a crowded forest where resources are limited. Imagine the walking tree as an underdog, constantly seeking its way to the top by moving towards sunlight, ensuring it doesn't get shaded out by other trees. Over the course of years, this slow, deliberate movement can make a huge difference in the tree's ability to grow and survive. But the walking tree's movement isn't just important for the tree itself, it has wider implications for the whole ecosystem. The fact that the tree can shift its position helps it avoid becoming overshadowed by its neighbors. This ensures it stays healthy and continues to provide shelter and food for the animals that depend on it. Additionally, the stilt roots provide crucial benefits to the soil. The roots help stabilize the ground, preventing erosion in flood-prone areas. Without the walking tree's stabilizing roots, soil could easily be washed away during heavy rain leading to habitat loss for many other species. 
Moreover, the tree's gradual movement can create new spaces for other plants and animals. As it shifts its position, it may open up new areas for epiphytic plants to grow or provide new territories for insects and birds. This slow movement creates a dynamic ecosystem where multiple species can coexist and interact. So, we've talked about how the walking tree moves, but what makes it so special in terms of adaptation? The walking mechanism is an extraordinary example of how a species can evolve over time to overcome environmental challenges. By using its roots to walk towards sunlight, the walking tree doesn't just passively accept its environment, it actively engages with it. This adaptation allows it to find the best growing conditions over time ensuring its survival and even thriving in a competitive ecosystem. While other trees might compete for the same light, the walking tree has a built-in advantage. It can keep moving toward better conditions. This self-adjusting mechanism is what sets it apart from other trees in the rainforest, making it an essential part of the ecosystem. Unfortunately, the walking tree's ability to move and thrive is under threat. Deforestation, climate change, and habitat destruction all pose serious risks to the walking tree's survival. Without the dense rainforest, the walking tree has fewer places to walk to and fewer resources to survive. Climate change is also altering the conditions that the tree relies on for movement. As temperatures rise and rainfall patterns change, the walking tree may find it harder to adapt. A shift in the environment could prevent the tree from finding better sunlight or more stable soil, impacting its ability to grow and move. To conclude, the walking tree is a marvel of nature, moving slowly toward better light and stable soil. This unique survival strategy is threatened by human activity and climate change. To protect it, we must support conservation efforts and sustainability. If you enjoyed this, like, share, and subscribe for more nature wonders. Thanks for watching.